pressure Really the hottest nigga You gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it Boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable Now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville But I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street And then dance all on top of you And I do what I got Honestly, his shit don't even feel like no jumper shit His shit just feel like sharp shit Which, you know what that means? Adam can't fire that nigga Adam fire that nigga That nigga gonna have a, a page with 500,000 Like subscribers in no time Going crazy So you know just, just stay in your pocket And you know And own your lane And don't let nobody let you compromise But other than that man You good bro Yo uh, definitely man Hey uh, uh, listen though Do I um, have your permission though To like screw record the 6 9 shit Make a video with it Oh yeah now you can go ahead with it Nigga, say, right, look, 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 look right now. Block on sale, bro. <laughs> block on sale, bro. Take yeah, nah, go ahead, bro. Hey, no, no. Uh, um, yeah, to further clarify for everybody, for everybody here, um, it, it's just a reality of it. You know, by the way, when the feds had 6 9 in that position, they asked him about a lot of motherfuckers. Yo, remember, they got him to, once you get somebody to cooperate, they have to tell you the truth about everything. So, you know what I mean? Say immigration was investigating, which they are. Inve immigration was investigating 21 Savage, right? Obviously, that was before then, so this didn't happen. This is not true. This didn't happen. But I'm pretty sure if 6 9 was telling now, like, yo, you was into it with, with 21, I'm pretty sure Ice gonna walk in that room, and Ice gonna be like, yo, this is that dude that's from the UK. What's up? What you know about him? That's just how it goes. You know what I mean? I remember he told me he was like, "Yeah, they asked me about they asked me about that nigga, uh, um, Jay Prince, but it was like some different motherfuckers who asked me about Jay Prince. I ain't know what the fuck they wanted." And then you know, I like I ain't know too much about Jay Prince, but like hearing his stories and shit like that, I'm like, "Damn, maybe he's right." Because if you listen to Jay Prince stories, he's been talking about the feds put people on him to investigate him for years. So, like when I heard Six Nine say that, I'm like. You know, I did some more research. I'm like, oh shit. So it is what it is. But you know, um, when I hear people say, oh, the Rico's coming, man, if they ain't get a Rico on on um Jay Prince before, they not about to get no Rico for over the over the death of the takeoff. I'm sorry to tell y'all. You know, it's just the feds been investigating this guy for years. And and again, they're investing the father, not the sons. Like this whole shit happened with the sons. Father don't look like he got nothing to do with this shit. So. He was in. He was in bed, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, no. Jazz Prince was in bed, but but Jay Prince, Jay Prince, like you know, what I mean, the pops, like he gonna be like he don't know what the fuck going on with this shit. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if anybody, like again, I'm, I'm giving y'all facts. I know what I'm talking. I'm giving y'all facts. Yo, if if y'all ever listen to Jay Prince on any of his interviews, yo, the feds literally put people on him to investigate him, stalk him. Check his taxes Check everything They used to pull him over Really randomly Go listen to his interviews He was like yo Niggas would pull him over Unmarked cars And tell him like yo Meet us over there And he would be like yo Why over there He'd be like It's some place where the dark is Like I listen to this shit And I remember thinking I'm like damn I don't know exactly The full history of Jay Prince But clearly some people Don't like him And some people And it looked like It's the government So when 6 9 told me that, I was like Word? You tell you like he didn't even know what branch of the feds it was. Cause you gotta remember six nine got locked up by the FBI niggas, Homeland Security niggas, right? And New York police niggas, right? And all of them collaborated and, and that's how it went to uh, um Southern District of New York. The feds. Bro, the people who locked up uh, the who who came to him asking about Jay Prince. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you why they asked about Jay Prince because there were some situations that happened with Jay Prince. Obviously, the shit where he went to, he went to um, at, um, um, Houston, and and the mob ties and he was like, you can't get in. But you know, without saying too much, and even though all this is documented, it's documented. I'm not, I, I can't, I can't tell tell y'all nothing that's not in black and white because Shadi had to ple plead guilty for this. There was a situation where. Jay Prince's kids was in LA and Shoddy and them, they did some. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it at that. Y'all go read it if y'all want to. That's the only incidents. And also, there's some, the fight at the, well, two more things. The fight at the, the airport with some guy who was kind of closely tied to Jay, to Rap a lot. But then there was a robbery that happened at this 50 minute building. That's the only Rap a lot shit or, or Jay Prince shit that ever happened with 6ix9ine. 
And when they came in, some unknown agents from unknown portions of the government just walked in and just asked 6 9 and be like, yo, fuck all your cases and what you got going on. What could you tell us about Jay Prince? And he was just like, like, well, what do you mean? Like, you want me to talk about like the, the issues we've had, the rap a lot of shit? They were just like, no, what do you know that he's doing? That spooked him enough that he remembered that shit. He's, he, he, and you know what I mean? He don't got no reason to lie. He was just like, yo, I, don't, I ain't know nothing about them niggas, but it was random. Like, imagine like you in a situation and people just randomly come at you and be like, yo, so what do you know about Kid Cudi? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, what, like what nigga? But I don't know. So. Yeah, nah, that shit. I'm talking more info about this shit. Bro, no, no, I'm, yo, well, you, have you never listened to Jay Prince's interview? Yo, you know he wrote a book too, right? Bro. Oh, not Jay Prince, but the take-up shit, but yeah, I know about Jay Prince. Uh, oh, no, the shit. feds was on that nigga, bro. That's why I said, he's not, like, I know niggas. So that's why Rico when people say Rico, I'm like, bro. It's not happening, bro. It's he not, not getting no Rico for this, the fuck? Nigga, Jay yeah, Prince nah. was probably in bed sleep. Like, was in the all I know is everybody I know that's from Texas and from the area, they scared of that family. Like, they be like, I know, oh, you see I know. them, you go the other way. I mean, I mean, I get, like, I get, man. But that don't mean you get a Rico because niggas pussy. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck? I don't think no, no. Yo, if they were going to give a Rico, bro, they would have been gave it, bro. Yeah, bro, on, bro, 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 verbatim, that niggas, <laughs> verbatim, that nigga 6 9 said they asked him, be like, yo, you know about that nigga doing no drugs? You know him selling drugs? Do you know about any, any like crime, murders, anything he done? It's like they were fishing for shit. And he was just like, bro, yeah, I don't fuck with them niggas, but I don't know nothing they do like that. The fuck? Like, like, that's random. Like, nigga, what the fuck would I know about some J Prince shit? He's, and to this day, because I asked him, I said, like, what branch of the feds was asking you that? He said, nigga, I don't know. It was a special group just came in. Nigga, if that don't get you scared, but, you know, I didn't even, like, by the way, and if his family ever heard, J Prince and family ever heard, heard this, um, by the way, I hope I didn't break no terms of, like, 6 9 snitching clause, right? Because <laughs> it might be like, yo, yo, you told act that? Yo, you, yo. <laughs> yo, I hope I didn't break none, none of that shit, right? I'm like, yo. Yo, part of the deal, you couldn't tell him that. Like, no, nah, no, nah, I heard about that. Because it was a special group, my nigga. I don't know what it is, bro. That's just spooky. That's spooky. I wonder what's next, bro. Bro, what? Like, what should be happening, bro? Like, um, it's going to be real. Well, it, Man, it, Charles it, White gotta speak his mind. Charles White, somebody yo, probably done told Charles White who did it. No damn Charles White gotta say right now, bro. Yo, hey, yo, bro. does take the yeah? Does Quavo gotta just kind of eat this in in the sense of like, yo, bro, you know what happened? You gotta leave it up to the streets type shit. And also, here's the funny thing: if it's one of your mans who did it, bro, like, how do you even deal with that? Like, say, say a nigga that was trying to protect you ended up. Killing your mans. How do you deal the with nigga it? Nigga, he was arguing with act, gotta go, bro. The nigga he was arguing with, gotta be a fact. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, okay. would that really help Quavo's case, though? I'm just thinking of like a civilian. I ain't thinking of the fucking rap a lot, nigga. I'm thinking of a normal nigga, all right? Or a nigga who's grieving, you know what I mean? Like, would that really help his case? Because the nigga didn't shoot the nigga. Like, his man shot him, you know what I mean? Bro, my man's only.